My name is Maggie Carner, and I was diagnosed with the same type of brain cancer as Brittany Maynard. When I was diagnosed, my doctor made sure I knew the general definition of glioblastoma, the high recurrence rate, and low survivability data. He explained to me that there is currently no cure for this aggressive form of cancer and that it is a terminal diagnosis. But he told me to get busy and do the things now that I enjoy or that are meaningful to me. And thankfully, my doctor refuses to this day to speculate or give me a timeline on purpose because he knows I'm an individual and every patient and every situation is different and every person deserves the right to fight. Look, I know Brittany's videos were tragic and we all felt so sad watching them, but I know what Brittany faced and honestly, suicide wasn't necessary. In fact, what really concerns me is that Brittany's suicide puts other patients like me at risk because the question of physician-assisted suicide isn't about me, it isn't about people with terminal illnesses or any other individual patient. In reality, it ends up being about all of us. Please do not vote for this bill. You know what kind of a world we live in today. It's inevitable that vulnerable people will die without their consent through mistakes and abuse. No so-called safeguard can prevent this from happening. Voting for this bill is like putting fire in a paper bag and it can't be contained. This bill puts patients like me at risk by opening the door to influence vulnerable people to commit suicide with state approval. Don't let the emotions of dying experienced by some overshadow the value of living for the rest of us. Please understand that the suicide of one patient doesn't end just there. It flows out into society and promotes the wrong idea that medical care is an overdose of suicide pills. There are better ways to shape public policy in order to care compassionately for those who are nearing death. Helping people die well shouldn't require changing the law so that other people are put at risk. So please remember patients like me who don't want to commit suicide, but instead want our right to live out our days without the risk of abuse or the subtle pressure to comply with state-sanctioned suicide.